How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be a movie collection video and this is going to be on a series of films that in which there are four of them and that is Mad Max. So with that let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have the original film starring Mel Gibson as Max Rakotansky. He rules the roads. Absolutely he does. <laughs> so this is a older Blu-ray and DVD release for Mad Max. All right, and yeah, this is one um, I've wanted to show for quite a while because uh, we have a few different editions, uh, especially for the uh, the original film. And then here is the back. The sun's kind of going in and out, so hopefully the lighting is nice and clear. All right, so here is the story details here. Here's like the specs. So you get the original uh, Australian uh, mono track, and then you have also Australian and English uh, tracks for 5.1 Master Audio. Here are the special features. You get some on the Blu-ray, you get commentaries and stuff, and then on the on the uh, <clears throat> excuse me DVD, you get documentaries, featurettes, trailers, all sorts of stuff. So the uh, English track is, yeah, this movie was dubbed over um, with English voices. It's uh, like dubbed over the, the Australian and it, it does sound kind of goofy <laughs> a little bit. Uh, here's a DVD. I think this is a two-sided one. Hey guys. Uh, and then here's the Blu-ray on the right. Very nice artwork right there. But yeah, the Australian track sounds just fine. So, I mean, either one, uh, they sound good. And this older Blu-ray looks good, too. Uh, especially when you have, like, you know, all the stuff with the cars and things like that. Really, really awesome film. And next up is the uh, Scream Factory edition of Mad Max. So this is one I picked up the other day. It was uh, $5. Uh, it's just a single Blu-ray disc. That's it. Uh, the Maximum Force of the Future. Really love this cover. I was trying to look for it uh, with the uh, cover and stuff. Very nice artwork. There is the spine. There you see it says Mad Max. And then on the back. So Mad Max stars uh, Mel Gibson. And he is a, uh officer. He drives the Interceptor. Which, uh, so you have these criminals and stuff that, you know, driving on the roads, causing chaos. And the officers are there to try and stop them. And he literally intercepts them when the others fail to stop him. So he comes in as like a last resort. So this one, uh, special features wise, I think the only new one is the interviews with Mel Gibson, uh, Joanne Samuel, and director of photography, uh, David Egby. And then the rest of it should be on the older uh, editions, so. Like the first one I just showed, yeah. And then here you have the, I believe the original cover art for Mad Max. This is awesome. And he's got like a red eye too, so it's almost as if like, you know, he could be the Terminator. <laughs> almost, yeah. Very, very cool. All right, and then see the writing is like in red now. And then you have another picture. All right, and then on the inside, here is the disc. Now, quality-wise on this one, um, I did remember reading an article in which they were saying that the, the film elements for Mad Max were missing. Or they had some of them, but a lot of it was gone. So... Um, this edition looks fine uh, for what they did. Uh, yeah, it, it looks okay. And then you can like reverse it and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, it's for what they did on here, it's all right. Uh, the tracks seem to be the same exact ones on like that older Blu-ray uh, that I first showed. Uh, so that appears to be the same. Uh, so video can be very hit and miss uh, with this one, but I think that could be uh, because of the condition of like the elements, you know, whether they had them all or even if they did, maybe they're in bad shape. So, yeah. 
It all kind of depends. Alright, but the Screen Factory Edition. I believe this is still in print and it is like really, really cheap. Yeah, five dollars. Alright. And next up is the newer 4K Kino Lorbor. Uh, I think it's Kino Lorbor. 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 <laughs> uh, Studio Classics Edition of Mad Max. So this just came out this week. Yeah, I believe it was this week. Yeah. This is 4K plus Blu ray. And this cover is awesome. Definitely takes you back to like those older films, like older movie posters and stuff. Really, really nice. Yeah, and there it says Interceptor. All right. Here's the title on the spine. And then here is the back. And it's by the director uh, our director, uh, George Miller, who did, uh, The Road Warrior, The Witches of Eastwick, Lorenzo's Oil, and Mad Max Fury Road. So yes, he did do that as well. So here are all these special features. As far as I can tell, they're all the same. Yeah. Like, it even includes that new, um... Interviews with Mel Gibson, Joanne Samuel, and, and uh, David Egby from the uh, Screen Factory edition. So, yeah, Kino Lorber. Yeah, there you go. And, yeah, this looks very, very good. Uh, there has the original classic poster as well. Classic poster. All right. Yeah, it's like a little, it's like it's zoomed out more. So you can get more of the picture. Uh... Yeah, this this looks great. Uh, so I don't know if this is the way they did the transfer and stuff, but yeah, very very good. Especially the cars and stuff. Uh, on the left you have the 4K. On the right you have the uh, regular Blu-ray. Uh, but yeah, very very good job by Kino on this. Uh, they tend to have um, like older releases for like older films, and so I think like ones that are hard to find. Or they just happen to get like, excuse me, get the rights for and stuff like that. So yeah, very, very nice release. Uh, this I found, uh, it's at Best Buy. Uh, that's where I got it from. I think Target has it. I think Walmart might have it as well. Um, but yeah, very, very nice release. Uh, the sound is good too. Uh, the tracks seem to be about the same as well. Uh, you do get uh, subtitles in English. And then that's kind of the stats for it. But yeah, very, very nice release by Kino. Alright, so next up is Fury Road. Which is right here. Awesome, awesome film. This has Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron. Of course, this came out years later <laughs> after... Uh, oh, what was it? It was, um, uh, Beyond, uh, Thunderdome, which was the third film starring Mel Gibson. All right. This is Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. This I found, uh, secondhand along with another edition of it. Uh, both for, uh, pretty good prices. This one, this one was really cheap. It was like five, six dollars. And of course, George Miller, the originator. So, yeah. Very, very nice. Here's the uh, special features right here. All right. And then here are the screenshots. So you have Tom Hardy. You see uh, Charlie Theron right there and a couple other. Uh, there's another character too. Yeah. Very, very nice set. Nice and simple. Underneath the cover, uh, pretty much the same. All right, and then on the left, you have the DVD, and on the right, you have the Blu-ray. Okay, and Fury Road is amazing. Really, really good movie. And also, uh, the the uh, specs and stuff for the Blu-ray, just the regular Blu-ray alone, amazing. Very, very good. Uh, definitely reminds me of uh, The Dark Knight. Uh, just the regular Blu-ray version itself. Uh, 
even though that has an even better 4K too. Just the regular one, you're fine. You're golden. Uh, DVD looks good too, uh, but definitely recommend watching this on Blu-ray. 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 <laughs> tend to do that a lot. Uh, but it looks and sounds really good. And this one I found first before that version, and that is the Blu-ray 3D plus Blu-ray plus DVD digital copy version of Fury Road. So here is the lenticular. It kind of moves around a bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. And watching this in 3D, uh, it's actually really good too. Uh, not bad. You definitely have some shots, uh, you know, I think with any 3D release uh, that definitely have more uh, depth than other than others. Uh, some just look better than others. But I think overall, it's really, really good. Now, there was a condition with this because I got this second hand. Uh, this one was a little bit higher. It was actually, um, I think, about $15. So it's actually pretty cheap, uh, considering. So underneath the cover. And then hit the 3D. Now, it's supposed to come with the 2D version. So here is the 3D disc right there. And sadly, that was not in there. So here is the regular DVD. So yeah, there was a condition with this. I got it out of Half Rights Books. So I think that's why it was so cheap because it, it didn't have the Blu-ray. Sometimes you might encounter that if you're getting things secondhand. So do be aware of that. Uh, there was a little note on it that said, uh, you know, missing Blu-ray. Uh, but really wanted the 3D version. So yeah, not bad. I got it for a real good deal. So yeah. And then that's when I picked this one up afterward. There was a new steelbook that got released recently. I believe it's already sold out. Uh, there was an older steelbook that came out. I believe that was on 4K. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Burp. I think the new one was on 4K as well. So, yeah. But if you get just the regular one, you're fine. All right. So, last up is the High Octane Collection of Mad Max. This contains everything for uh, Mad Max. All the films together in one set. And give you guys a better shot of all the vehicles. That's a big thing with Mad Max. You have this post-apocalyptic uh, world. You know, people are fighting for food, uh, you know, water, all sorts of stuff. And, of course, you have, like, these big vehicles. And that's how they get around. And the big thing is not just food and water, fuel. That's the big thing about it. Uh, you know, like, leave the fuel. That's kind of a big line in the, um, the original film. So, yeah. Or, no, uh, uh, The Road Warrior. Yeah. All right. So, here's the back. So, this is everything that you get. So, you get Mad Max. The Road Warrior, Beyond Thunderdome, Fury Road on both Blu-ray and 4K. You also have a uh, digital and ultraviolet for Fury Road. You have the black and or black and chrome edition for Fury Road, which has the black and white on it, which actually looks pretty good too. Um, you have the Madness of Max on DVD that has some special features, and you get an all-new Road Warrior documentary, which is very very nice. I have gone through it. And here are some other special features here. Yeah, very, very cool. All right. Then just take that out. Is this one regular uh, big uh, Blu-ray case? All right. And yeah, uh, these movies are just really cool. I uh, love what they do with the vehicles. The stories are really good, too. And what they do with the cars and stuff is really awesome. Like, the really good stunts, uh, you know, weapons and stuff. How they armor them up and everything. <laughs> they get the big trucks. Really nice. So there's Mad Max. There is the Madness of Max. Here is the Road Warrior. There's a Road Warrior uh, bonus disc. Here is, uh, I believe that's the documentary. And then here is Beyond Thunderdome. There's Fury Road, the black chrome edition for it. And then you have the 4K edition of Fury Road. Uh, the 4K is actually 
not bad. Um, I would definitely stay with the regular Blu-ray though. There are some things with the 4K that do work. You do get that uptick, like uh, like in quality, more clarity, uh, sound as well. Uh, but I think for that one, it's mostly the sound that gets like the better kind of treatment. Uh, I think it's one of those where it's just kind of like you know hit and miss. Uh, but either way, 4K or the regular one, you're fine. Alright, and that does it for all of Mad Max that is out. Uh, you know, not sure there's going to be another one. But for what we have, it is really, really good. Mad Max is just awesome. Alright, so let's go ahead and display these. Let's put out three of them. All right, so there they are. All look good together. Uh, you know, Mad Max is really awesome set of movies. And actually, let me do this. Those two there. Yeah, there we are. That's better. So yeah, uh, really good set of films. You know, all four of them. Very, very nice. There are, <clears throat> excuse me, there are many different editions for uh, all of these films. The High Octane Collection, sorry about that guys, burping, um, actually had a version where you get this box in, I think it had a car with it, I think it was uh, Max's car from Fury Road. Uh, the Kino Lorbor, uh, or Kino Lorbor Edition, uh, the 4K looks great. The Screen Factory Edition is also pretty good, I uh, really love the covers and stuff on there. And uh, even this one, the regular Blu-ray. There's also one in like a red case. There's a steelbook collection as well. Uh, but I don't think that includes Fury Road though. I think it only has the first three. Uh, but either way, even this one's fine. Looks good. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, really good set of films. Feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Have you guys seen any of the Mad Max films? Uh, whether it be the, the original, Fury Road, uh, you know, The Road Warrior, Beyond Thunderdome. Feel free to let me know. And with that... I'll see you guys next time.